Right, so tonight I thought I'd do a seascape for a bit of a change. We were down at Cronulla on the weekend and it was really windy and stormy. You can have a quick look at the video there. And I just want to paint what I saw there and see how I go emulating the sort of the feel and the colours and that sort of thing. So let's get started. Painting on what's becoming my favourite size, which is half a sheet. So it's um, 56 centimetres by... 38 centimeters, 38 by 56. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice size. So I'm just going to wet mostly. How am I going to do this actually? I might even go this way for a change. Yeah, so I'll just wet up here. Spray bottle, two inch hake. This is a Ron Ranson one. It's going to wet up to, I don't need to come all the way down. Because I'm just going to do this sky layer and then I'm going to dry the whole thing. So, I'm going to come in with a pretty light mix of this cobalt blue light red. Might add a tiny bit of Payne's grey just to grey it off a bit. Whoops, got a bit on there. That was a bit silly. And all I'm going to do is it's all wet. I'm just going to first of all. I'm going to, um, first of all, I'm going to come in with some of the lighter bits and just bring them in where I can see there's some color and in down here a bit and then a bit there and then a bit there, very, very loosely. And then I'm going to load up with a little bit more dark and I'm going to come in with the dark bits, like a bit more here, a little bit more here, just the, and most of the time those darks are at the bottoms of the clouds, a little bit there. And then there's a pretty constant sort of a, a bit of a grey line just on the, on the horizon there. But I don't need to make the horizon there. I can make it wherever I want really. I'm going to make the horizon a little bit higher so it's, so it's not exactly half. And the thing is in the photo, so some of these lighter areas are, are grey rather than white. But I think sometimes it's just lovely to leave a little bit of white. I'll just mop up around the sides and then we'll just dry this. Didn't take long, hey, very quick sky, we'll dry it. Just before I do, there's a line of pigment following the tape line here and I'm just going to lift that out with a tissue. Just lift that out a bit. I don't really want that there so I can get rid of that. Right. The other thing is just this, this solid line here Oh no, stuff it, let's leave it. So I've dried it very thoroughly so that the next, the tape that I put down will uh, not tear the paper. It's important that it's super dry. Just one thing I wanted to say that I really love working from reference photos. If you have a look at this photo now, I love working from reference photos. And the reason being is that it helps me to just do these random brush strokes. And I suppose they're not random because I'm looking at a photo. But compared to what I'd do if I didn't have any photo and I was painting a sky, I, I really find that quite often my body just does the same thing every time. We're like habit finding machines or pattern finding machines. And so by using reference photos, I actually think it helps me to break free from that. So I, I think it's a great thing to use things to, as a beginning and then you can take it wherever you want. So I think it's a great idea. So we'll move on to doing the, the, the sea now. I'm going to cordon this off with um, 3M magic tape or Scott's, Scott's magic tape, which is sticky. But I want a nice, really nice, crisp, sharp line here. And it, and it looks a bit like it's, it's halfway, but it's, it's definitely not. It's, it's lower, actually. In fact, mm, no, let's, let's leave it like that for now. I think that's quite interesting. Yeah, no, it's not half, and, and that's okay. No, it could be half. You, you, there's no rules. It's just what's aesthetically pleasing, I think. So let's get of this mix of cobalt blue. Oh, don't flick onto there. Cobalt blue, light red. We'll mix it up with a little bit of Windsor yellow just to get a bit of a greeny color gray. Get a bit more. 
I'm a bit messy sometimes. Gotta be a bit careful. All right, so I'm gonna bring this in, this whole lot, bring it in down here, bring it in down here. Might even leave a little bit of that dry brushing. So I'm gonna grab a bit of this. So this is the same mix mixed with a bit of burnt umber. So it's copper blue light red with a bit of burnt umber. Just darkened off a bit, just to make it dark, dark, to just so I can chuck that up on the horizon. Get a nice dark, dark up on the horizon here. Nice, beautiful. Get another hake just to just to work that bit of warmth that's there. Nice. And I'm just gonna spray down here. Do it a bit. What have we got there? A bit of a brown, eh? A bit of a brown in there. Beautiful. It's got a bit of a fair bit of water on there that's I sort of almost forgot about then. <laughs> it started going everywhere. So I'm just mopping up. Might just get this dark, dark and just chuck it in against the horizon here because I wanted a straight horizon. Beautiful. Nice, I think I like that. Just wipe this out a bit here. I'm just going to keep that. Oh, I've got a little resident moth come onto my painting. Thanks, mate. Jeez. Nice. So I'm just going to dry this, and as I'm drying it, I'm going to peel this tape off. So I think I like this. There's quite a few things that I could do and I could keep taking this further, but that's a bit of my tendency sometimes to potentially take paintings a bit too far sometimes. The reason why I want to take it somewhere is for me, it's very stylized, very solid horizon, very different colors here and here, even though I've used the same colors to do both, you know, the, the cobalt blue light red mix, they still seem a little bit disconnected to me, but at the same time, this sort of stylized look is very powerful. When it comes to putting it up on a wall, that would really draw a viewer's eye in. So I think I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna sign it, and we'll see whether anyone likes this painting, anyone buys it or, or not, we'll just see. So thanks guys, thanks for joining me tonight. If you like this video, please press like. If you wanna know about future videos and press the subscribe button, press the bell button. And if you want some more help with your watercolors, I'd love it if you join me on Patreon. There's quite a few courses on there for you guys now to be working through and, and weekly videos on there. So thanks guys, thanks very much, thanks for your support. I've reached 17,000 subscribers, pretty cool. And, uh, and I'll see you guys next week, good night.